Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Tech Passport. Today we're diving into the world of McGee and Ein Linux, a powerful and user-friendly operating system that's making waves in the open source community. If you're curious about trying out a new Linux distribution or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Before we get into the details, let's talk about what Megia 9 is. Megia is a community-driven Linux distribution that aims to provide a stable, secure, and cutting-edge computing experience. It's based on the principles of free software and open collaboration, making it a fantastic choice for users who value transparency and community involvement. Now let's explore some of the key features that make Megia 9 stand out from the crowd. Intuitive User Interface Megia 9 comes with a user-friendly interface that caters to both beginners and seasoned Linux users. The desktop environment is customizable, allowing you to tailor your workspace to suit your preferences. Package Management with ERPME Megia uses ERPME as its package manager, making it easy to install, update, and remove software. The Megia Control Center provides a centralized hub for system configuration and management. Wide range of software Megia 9 ships with a comprehensive selection of software out of the box, covering everything from office productivity tools to multimedia applications. The Megia community works hard to ensure that the software repositories are up to date and diverse. Stability and Security One of the core strengths of Megia 9 is its focus on stability and security. Long Term Support LTS. Megia follows a release model with long-term support, providing users with a stable platform for an extended period. This is particularly appealing for users who prioritize reliability in their computing environment. Security Measures Omegia pays close attention to security, implementing measures to protect your system and data. Regular security updates and a vigilant community contribute to the overall safety of the operating system. Community and Support an integral part of any Linux distribution is the community that surrounds it. Active Community Omegia has a vibrant and active community of users and developers. If you ever run into issues or have questions, there are forums, wikis, and mailing lists where you can seek help and contribute to the ongoing development of the distribution. Magia App TV The Magia App TV is a valuable resource where users can find information about software compatibility, helping you choose applications that work seamlessly with Magia 9. Conclusion As we wrap up our overview of Migi and Ein Linux, it's clear that this distribution offers a compelling mix of user-friendliness, stability, and community engagement. Whether you're a Linux enthusiast or a newcomer to the open-source world, Migi and Ein is worth exploring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content on your channel name. Thanks for watching, and happy exploring with Migi and Ein. We will now do the installation. First, we need to download an ISO file, and we will find the website on Google to download that file. As you can see, we are now on our desired website, and from here we will download the desired file via download. The process of downloading this file is very simple, so if I make a detailed video about this, the video would be too long, so I try to make it short. Now you can see I'm entering my virtual environment, and I'm going to boot this Linux with the downloaded file. Now I will create a version machine inside my virtual environment. Here I will give my virtual machine name and then follow the next steps so you can create a virtual machine very easily like this. Since I am creating a virtual machine for making my tutorial, here I am creating a virtual machine with a minimum requirement. When you work with a virtual machine or a real machine, you can create your own configuration. We will now start our virtual machine and see how it runs, and after booting our desired operating system, we will start working on the installation. First of all, we will select the language and accept all the instructions, and then we will click Next. After this, we will be asked to select the location and time zone, in which case you will select your location and time. After that, we have to select the keyboard mapping, in which case I am selecting the US keyboard. We can see our live operating system has started running, so let's start the setup process. Here you click next button twice after clicking on lunch installation and then file copying will start and wait patiently till your files are copied. 
Since it takes a lot of time to copy the file, I have passworded it along with shortening the video. After coming this far, you need to set up a password. In this case, you will set up a password of your choice. Then a new proper window will appear, and there you have to click on finish. After this another menu option will appear, and there you have to click next button without changing anything. Next you need to do the network setting, as I use a static network, so I will provide all the necessary information here, including my IP, and submit mask, and complete the network configuration. For those of you who use dynamic router or dynamic connection, you don't need to do anything here, just select dynamic or auto here, and the operating system will connect to the internet connection or your network. So far you have seen that all our settings are done, now we have our operating system. After the operating system is fully set up, when it reboots, and when it starts again after the reboot, it will ask you for administrator setup, and there you have to complete all the settings in the administrator request. After the administration setting of the operating system is done, the operating system will reboot itself, and next time it will be turned on, you will have to log in through the administrative settings or through its credentials. We can see here the process of system login. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content on Tech Passport. Thanks for watching, and happy exploring with Megia 9.